Okay, so this drill is basically just doing tan sal turn, pack sal back to straight, or gun sal turn, gum sal back to straight. And we have one person standing in the iris position and only doing the turn and the back to straight. This drill now with a, with a step after, and one person doing the step in. So that's not how we would fight, that's a safety mechanism. One guy being still makes the time frame last a little longer and allows us to be safe. So if we were actually a little more realistic, he would be in a, get in a fighting stance. Get in a, um, yeah, he would be like this, and he'd be coming out with this one. So come on in, Isaiah. Boom, right? And then I would be having to attack him. So come on in. Boom. That's a little more of a collision. We do that again. Boom. Very high injury risk right here. We do it from the other side. So we have that drill. Come a little forward again. Okay, come on in. Ooh. Now I can stay here and practice this part from a turn. Okay. Come in. If I go forward, the impact in the Distance closing makes the time interval really short, so I have to have the skill already perfected. I can't try to perfect the skill because this collision is too fast. So we have only him stepping in and me being here, and I turn, catch his arm, turn back, and then I pretend he's still over here for safety. So all he's doing is giving me the punch. Turn, step back in straight, Use the center line, my center line, on an imaginary target over there. Step against this. And then now he's turned and he comes back with his step. And then I might come underneath. And he doesn't know whether it's going to be low or if it's going to be up here. It's based on how it feels. If it's up here, he turns this way. Now I am in a vulnerable spot here. I got to get back really quick. So that's dance out turn, dance out turn with a spling in it. So if he steps to me, boom, boom. Okay? Does it again. Boom. Right? Ooh, ooh, from the other drill. And then here, and if he decides to go low, ooh, ooh. without this, again, if he decides to go low, ooh, ooh. Now, of course, he has another hand too, right? He could be catching me, and then there's a lot of stuff that could go on. Who's the faster one to get to the top? Right? Punch out. Yeah, punch out. All right, what I want to look at right now is when I'm here, I'm heading a tan sow in a pack sow position with a turn to bring him in, a pin, and an attack again. And then, of course, he's going to defeat me. But if he doesn't defeat me, boom, right here I have indoor tan sow which is a continuation of the drill we were just looking at. In a much later program, we even pin the guy down low. Yeah? Let's 
do it on this side. So I have this. Much later on, we have this. Not so far. There we go. So it's just a continuation of this drill or this drill. Put the two together. It might be this drill. Okay, it might be this. Okay, so at that point, two arms, two arms, he might be fighter guy, and I might come up with both hands, and I don't know which one's going to let me through. In this case, it was this one, until we pause. Okay, and then from this position here, what's this guy probably going to do? If he's, he's probably still alive. He's going to come right back onto my center line, right? So I might go around over here. Or... I might catch here and just pin with another hit. Or I might catch here and come around and go for this kind of move. All right? So as he comes in, whoo, whoo, whoo. All right? Or this come from this side. Whoo. All right? So he caught my hand here. This hand's actually free. So it would have to be this one that does the work. But it's all based off of bomb, 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 bomb. All right? He's my human dummy. So he's not going to do anything except stand there, these first ones. And I'm going to step in and just practice some motions as a dance. Okay? So he's not giving me anything except a shape, like a wooden dummy, but human, right? And so I might come in, this keeps it safe because neither of us are going to get hurt if I stay in control. Then the second phase of this is he's going to throw one single attack. I know exactly which one it is, and I'm going to practice doing one single defense. So we were looking at this, and does the pack sal take over, or does the tan sal take over? So now I'm going to send these out, and I'm going to let pressure decide which one it is. So I don't really know which one, maybe both get stuck, right? So I'm just gonna step in and I'm gonna see which one it is. Just this arm. So right there, I was doing something else. I was trying some on the inside and he did a very dangerous thing for himself. He decided to try this, try this arm and this happens. And so the safety of single attack drills is that this guy only does one attack over and over, the exact same attack. And I vary the exercise. Now, in the middle there, I was going to this side because as he's doing this attack, Tansel works here, Tansel works here. But he thought, oh, we're going to this side now, which is something we do. So he threw one of these out. It's kind of like a live training, huh? And so, luckily, my shape covered that. I wasn't expecting it. So, this is what we call single attack. Usually we put on gloves, cuffs, and mouthpieces because one guy is really trying to punch. Then, it goes into a double attack. I start by throwing an attack. He beats it. And I beat his counter attack. So that drill would look like get in the ready position. I go, he defeats this, and I have to catch that. Go in, he beats me. I go in, he beats me. Beat me. I go in, he beats me. 